Well, I remember the first time I ever went to the Rat, um, and Mickey Clean and the Mez were playing with, with Willie, backing up Willie Alexander. And um, that, you know, I met some people there for the first time. That was pretty cool. And I was thinking about it earlier today, and I was just remembering the whole feel of the rat and how it was like dark, like a cave, like a rat skeleton. And it really had that kind of feeling. You were down underground, it was dark, it was just sort of fit the whole sort of alternative music punk scene that was happening at the time. We were laughing earlier, I swear the, the plastic rats move from week to week, which makes me wonder how plastic they really were. What other things do you remember about the, the, the club itself or stories that come to mind? Well, I actually did step on a rat once when I was walking out the back door. <laughs> so, Not um, the plastic type, no, right? real one. Uh, <laughs> well, how about the other bands that you regularly enjoyed seeing there? Um, I think the Nervous Eaters were definitely one of my favorite bands that I went to see a lot there. And uh, Unnatural Acts, and of course, like the Dead Boys, every time they played in town, they played at the Rat. Uh, so I always went to their shows. Um, and I think it was a combination of a lot of the local bands, but also the other bands that were coming from out of town as well. I mean, I think, actually, when you think about it, the rap probably had the best out of town bands, um, too. So it was that. I mean, most memorable, of course, would be The Damned and the time that they played at the Rat. Uh, we interviewed them, they were tearing my clothes off, they were throwing up onto the tape recorder, you know, and then they got... Wait, wait, they were throwing up on the tape recorder? Spitting on the tape recorder, oh. spitting on the tape recorder. Oh, that's much better. Throwing up into the garbage pail. <laughs> it was an inter interesting interview. And then, you know, they ate pizza on stage because they thought American audi audiences were too boring. Um, so that was a very memorable night, and it was so incredibly loud, it was just like beyond belief. With so many people here tonight, it says a great deal about what the club still means to people. With a few years past now, as you look back, uh, how does that affect the way you viewed what the rat was and what the rat is? Well, I guess in a way it's kind of hard to put into words, but I would say that it was definitely like our home. And I think, like I say, it had to do with Jimmy's conviction as well as just the physical building and the fact that he was a business owner. I mean, he went out on a limb for us. We, you know, burnt his carpet, uh, spilled stuff on his floors, you know, messed up his whole room all the time, but he was faithful to us as well as to the music. And I think that's part of the reason also why we felt that the rap was the place to be. Um, and, you know, through the Groupie News, the website now, I get so many people that write to me and say, the rat, it was the best memory of my life. You know, I guess anyone that was in a scene wants to say that, you know, they were groundbreakers or whatever, but I think we were groundbreakers at that time. There was nothing like that before. Everything was do it yourself, and we did it. And it was an incredible, we were young, it was perfect timing. We were young, and this new kind of music was coming out, new kind of fashion scene, and being all part of that and having a place to call home with all that combined was just a wonderful thing. That's a good